Hey guys, it's me, Johnny Crims 2000 and welcome to my very special uh, late July 4th, 4th of July, however you want to say it, uh, special live stream. So here's the dealio, yo, as we're watching here, the Marvel superheroes. I love this title screen. It's so awesome. So here's the deal. I wanted to go ahead and uh, I wanted to make a live stream on July 4th to celebrate the 4th of July for Independence Day for obviously I live in the United States so that's what we do for those of you who are joining me from other parts of the planet first of all thank you for joining me today but I wanted to do it on 4th of July which today is not today is the 6th of July today's a Sunday 4th of July was Friday but I had a couple problems with that the first one being that um, actually let me go ahead and turn this volume up here there you go. Should hear the the sound a little bit better. So I had a bit of a problem with that because um, I figured that a lot of people would just be too busy with their family to really be able to watch a live stream. And truth be told, I was also very busy with my family, so I figured I pushed it back. And uh, I figured that today would be a good day to do it because you know Sundays are usually very lazy for people. You know, lazy Sunday afternoon, don't have much to do. So, you know, I figured today might I might be able to get more people to come and watch the live stream with me. And, you know, I also don't have much uh, going on today either. So why not? Let's do a live stream. So you may be wondering, what's what makes this live stream so special? What's why, wh why is it? Why does it have special in the title? Well, if you guys can see over there by on the side of the your screen there, you'll see that I have a schedule of games. I have six games that I'm going to be playing today, all of them themed after America, because we're going to be celebrating America, sort of like a belated, uh, a belated, sort of, uh, how do you call it, a belated celebration of America. And uh, we're going to start off here with Marvel Super Heroes. I am playing this on the... Uh, I am playing this on the Sega Saturn. This is the Sega Saturn version of Marvel Super Heroes, and I'm going to be playing as um, as Captain America. So I have six games. You can, you guys can see the schedule on the left at any uh, at any point during the live stream here. You can uh, check out what's gonna what games I'm going to be playing and uh, things like that. So here is Marvel Super Heroes. You guys can see here we have a good collection. It may not seem like much, but uh, back in the day this was pretty awesome. And we're gonna be obviously we're gonna be playing as Captain America because this is a celebration of uh, the United States, of freedom and justice in the American way. So if you guys can check out the 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 banner, the the border I guess on your left there, you guys can see the schedule. We're gonna start off with Marvel superheroes playing as Captain America. We're gonna move on to Daytona USA next, and then we're gonna move on to the PS3 for Call of Duty 4. WrestleMania uh, 18. We're gonna be playing as no, no, no eh, none other than uh, Mr. Mr. America himself from wrestling. We're gonna be playing as oh god. Uh, this game has a little bit of slowdown. If you guys can notice there. Oh hell. We're gonna be playing as uh, Hulk Hogan. Booyah! Stupid Shuma Garoth. Nobody knows you. And then we're gonna be moving on to. King of Fighters 98. We're going to be playing as the USA sports team, and then we're going to finish off with something that I know the fellas here, uh, my 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 fellow men in the audience there will like. We're going to be playing uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, and we're going to be playing as uh, see if I can. Uh, damn it! We're going to be playing as Tina, who is uh, American. I'm trying to remember how to activate the soul gem here. There it is, or the life gem. Sorry. Let's see if we can... Damn it. No. Damn it. There it is. Awesome. Boo, 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 boo. And freedom, bitch! Final justice! Mofo? That's right, freedom prevails. See, that's the theme of this live stream today. Freedom. Alright? United States, 4th of July special. That's... 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 Yes. America, bitches. Look at that. How much more American can you get than that? Freaking Captain America with the United States flag in the back with a freaking eagle on his arm. Come on. Come on. You don't get, you, you don't even know. Alright? You don't even know. 
All right, who's the next scrub that we're going to fight? All right, Hulk. I mean, you're American too, but you're going down, sucker. Going to be playing as Captain America versus the Hulk. In the comic books, yeah, Captain America would get torn up. <laughs> but for the purposes of today, because today, or Friday, was the United States' birthday. So today, we're going to let uh, Captain America win. Uh, by the way, we're going to be playing this. I'm going to be playing this, these games each for about uh, half an hour each. So give or take, you can do your simple math there. We're going to be going for this live stream for about three hours or so. Uh, it really depends. You know, some of these games on this list, they can be over pretty quickly. There we go. Life gem. I don't need that, but whatever. Oh, bitch. And oh damn it! There it is! There it is! I got him! I got him! Thumbs up, soldier, bitch! No, I, I like Hulk. He's he's pretty cool. He's a cool guy. I've never actually gotten into the Hulk sort of uh, the comic books. I can't. I can never. Oh, there it is! I was about to say like I can never remember what the reality gem does. Oh! Told you. Hulk is a scrub. He even even Hulk can't deny the greatness of America. All right, you just can't, just can't. Look at my bird, sir. Look at my bird, rookie. That's what I'm talking about. Over here drinking my Dr Pepper. I'm pretty sure that was made in America too. All right, who's our, oh hello Psylocke. You know what? I've actually played this game on my channel already and um, it's I mentioned in that in, in my let's play this is actually a sequel a spiritual sequel to X-Men uh, Children of the Atom for the uh, for the Saturn and PlayStation I think it was on, on PlayStation as well and uh, Psylocke was also included in that personally I would have liked as much as I like Psylocke I would have preferred it to have seen a, a, a different sort of female character Bitch stole my goddamn soul gem. Oh, you bitch. I'm trying to do. Uh. Uh, there it is. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to remember how to do that. Alright. Got the speed gem. Now, uh, if you guys have never. If you guys are uh, unfamiliar with this game, you may be wondering what, what's up with the. Uh, what's up with the gems? What do they do? The gems are, as you guys have already seen, there are six gems in total. You collect them after uh, beating your, you know, beating your opponents here. And, uh, sorry, I'm like, come on, get a girl, get a oh, damn it. Let's see if we can, uh, do another, there we go, power gem, and, ow, oh, bitch, oh. take the foot. Bitch, you can't deny me can't deny America foolish so um, this game is based off of the storyline in the Marvel comics called the Infinity Gauntlet and uh, the Infinity Gauntlet is actually a very very awesome story um, that happened it's sort of like a big scale event you know the, these type of events happen in comics every now and then um, I'm a big Marvel fan so I particularly like it it's it's actually one of my favorite storylines in all of like in all of uh, Marvel comics. So essentially, in a nutshell, what ends up happening in in the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, the story arc, I guess, is that um, there's a guy named uh, Thanos who is the final boss in this game, and he collects all six of the Infinity Gems, which are um, tr I'm going to try to remember them off the top of my head. There, they're Soul Gem, power. It's Soul Power. Uh, reality, let's see, soul power, reality, um, time, ow, bitch, I like you Spidey, but I don't have to like you right now, mm. it's soul, gem, power gem, time gem, space gem, reality gem, and uh, uh, there, there's another one, let's see, power, soul, reality, Time. I can't remember. There's there's six of them in, in total. And this game sort of uh, bitch. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. And Merc. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't finish him. Bitch. I do love this stage. Um, so the Thanos collected all six of the Infinity Gems, and essentially what ends up happening when somebody collects all six of the Infinity Gems, they put it in the Infinity Gauntlet, which is a gauntlet that he wears on his hand, obviously. And once you do that, you essentially become omnipotent. You you uh, you you essentially you become a god. And when that happened, it sort of um, threatened the 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 entire Marvel universe. You even had guys like uh, you know the Living Tribunal, uh, freaking uh, the Celestials, and um, Galactus. All these like really omnipotent you know, very out there characters in the Marvel Universe. Even they were involved in this. And essentially the whole thing was, how are we going to stop Thanos now that he is pretty much a living god? And um, it's it's a really cool, really it was a really cool storyline. And it put all these different Marvel characters together, all for a common cause. And this game essentially... Shut up, Iron Man. Essentially... Uh, is based off of that. It's not based entirely though. For example, in, in the Infinity Gauntlet, you didn't really see... Bitch. You didn't really see um, Psylocke. So that's one of the things that... Um, one of the reasons why I said I, I would have preferred there be like another female uh, Marvel character that have taken her place. You know, in X-Men Children of the Atom, it makes sense because she's an X-Men. But in this game, which is based off of the... Uh, the uh, Infinity Gauntlet storyline. She wasn't in that one, so it doesn't really make se much much sense for for her to be there. All right, I'm gonna activate here my my power gem. I'm pretty sure that you can. Oh damn it, you bitch! Ah! Oh. Space gem, super armor. Ow! All right, this guy is getting on my nerves. I like Captain America better. No, oh, bitch. All right, Captain uh, Iron Man, you're getting on my nerves now. Bitch. You can't escape America. Just ask Osama bin Laden. He'll tell you. You can't escape freedom. All right. So, uh, as I was saying, the uh, um. Uh, this game is based off of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, and uh, I for this one I, I would have preferred. You know, you have most characters who are who were part of the storyline, but I, I can tell you right now, Blackheart. As far as from my knowledge, Blackheart wasn't a part of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. Uh, Juggernaut wasn't a part of the storyline. Magneto wasn't a part of the storyline. So you have, even though it's based off of the Infinity Gauntlet, the story, like the story arc, it's definitely not like a one-on-one -on -one representation of it. You know, you, you could have, they could have gotten some other characters, but I can see why they would choose this. You know, they want to, I, I can see why they would have like somebody like, uh, like Blackheart here. You know, he looks amazing in, uh, in sprite form. So I can see, I guess, why they would want to have somebody like him to kind of show off the graphics and things like that. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you hoe. Alright. Oh, God. By the way, um, just, uh, just a little side note. Uh, the... Damn it. Oh, what? The... Oh, what the hell? Bitch, I could... Oh, come on. That should have hit. Oh, what the... F as you guys can see, Blackheart is very annoying. The the thing is, uh, the thing with Blackheart here is that he spams. He has a lot of spammable moves. And got him, yes. Uh, the thing with Blackheart is that he has a lot of spammable moves. Most of his ready moves uh, produce these little like demon things that can really over like uh, outnumber you. Uh, it becomes really annoying. But uh, as I was trying to say before I was getting owned there, um, they the I'm, I'm sure this is common knowledge and this is by no means a big surprise. But uh, the the Ghost Rider movie, oh hell, really ruins his character. 
Please get him. Oh, damn it. Can't escape. Freedom, sir. Even if you are a demon spawn. One thing that I will say, um, before Marvel vs. Capcom 3, one of the characters that I really wanted to be a part of this series was uh, Thor. I'm just a big Thor fan. And uh, it's such a shame that he, he's not in many games. Oh, hell. Oh, god damn it. Oh! There we go. Speed up. That's what I need. Now, um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, hell. What the hell? Shut up. But uh, I'm pretty sure that the arcade version of this game... Um, not not surprisingly is uh runs a little bit faster than this even though by all accounts this is the one of the better bitch can't escape my shield what's wrong with you this is one of the better versions of this game obviously not taken into account marvel superheroes origins which was the current release the the hd version that was released on xbox live arcade which uh came with uh, the original marvel vs. capcom and it also came with this Look at that. When you fight me, you're fighting my country. Ugh, so American. America! After all, that, that is the whole point of this this live stream, after all. And now we're fighting Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom can uh, go suck a fat one. He's actually pretty annoying in this game, I must say. The thing with Dr. Doom is that he ha he's sort of like the Dalsum of, of this game. He has a lot of long-range uh, attacks, so... What ends up happening most of the time is that he will stay away, and he ha he does this one really annoying thing, where he he does he has this thing where he can float, he can fly uh, for a short amount of time. There he is, do that essentially. So thankfully, I have a a move that can counter that. Um, throwing my shield there, because Marco, ah, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, he's gonna catch me. Yep. And uh, so that can be really annoying, like that, and. Uh, if you're not careful, he if you if you go up there to try to meet him, he can actually continue floating up higher than you can jump. So with some characters, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me. With some characters, it can actually be a bit tough to to actually hit him, either because they don't have a projectile or they just can't jump that high. See like that, I can I can throw my shield at him at a high enough angle where I can actually get him without even having to jump. So that's always a good thing. See, one of the reasons why Captain America is just awesome, all right? I know some people don't like him because they just think that, you know, he's sort of like Batman, where it's like he's just kind of like a normal human. But he has an, like he said, like he said, he has an entire country behind him. When you fight him, you fight in America. Ow. Ah. Uh, I need to start using, uh... I need to start using some of my gems here. Oh god. Bitch. Stars and stripes. Up in your ass. Oh god. Oh yeah, time to use this. Damn it. He might actually... Hell yeah. Holy hell. I don't even know I did that. Uh, I, I knew he... I, knew, I mean, I knew that was one of his moves, but... Alright, let's do... Time gem. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, sh I need to get. Oh, no. Bitch, get your clones off me. I need to get my shield. I don't, I don't actually know if, um. Damn it. I don't actually know if, um. Damn it. See, he does that. Like, he he spams, like, a whole bunch. I don't actually know if um, Captain America's... There we go. Reality gem. If, if his defense goes down, or if his uh, attack power goes down whenever he loses a shield. Damn it. Oh, I need that. I so need that. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. Now, Captain... Uh, or Doctor Doom, rather... He's actually in, um, he was in the the storyline for the Infinity Gauntlet. 
and uh, he actually fights alongside the heroes. So it's always it's always cool to see, you know, when stuff like that happens. So that's why he's in this game, even though he's not really the uh, the final boss. Come on, just die. Ugh. Come on, just die. Bitch, America. I'm gonna say that after every time that I have something cool that happens to me in this live stream. So be ready for that. Should make that like a like a uh, like a like a hashtag or something. Hashtag, fuck you, go America. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's that's pretty pretty mean. So now we go on to Thanos, who is the final boss of this character. Fun fact: uh, this is what presumably the upcoming Phase Two of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to be based on. As you guys, if you watch the Avengers, you might have catch, uh, you might you might have caught Thanos at the end of the credits or the uh, midway credits of that uh, of that movie. So it presumably that's what they're building up towards. The collector in that in that movie at the end of what was it? I think it was Thor. Uh, actually showed that he has one of the, the the Infinity Gems in his possession. I'm not exactly sure which one it is though. Um, but it is that's sort of what they're basing it off of, which is always kind of fun. I, I love the Infinity Gauntlet, like I said, so it's going to be cool to see how they're going to adapt that to a, a feature film. And uh, in the back there, you can see some of the other characters that were that were present during the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, storyline uh, you guys saw Thor over there or it's, I don't think um, I'm not exact I'm not too familiar with the the, the storyline behind it but in the man I'm kicking this guy's ass all kinds of ways um let me just move over here uh, that's Scarlet Witch oh hell that's uh, the she hulk right there you guys see there Mephisto's in the back that's the guy in red uh, Lady Death is the one in purple over there uh, that's Thor, but he has a mask, and uh, that's what I was trying to get to, where I'm not exactly sure the storyline behind that, although I think it's because he's not really the real Thor, the original Thor. That's why he has the mask. Alright, sir. Okay, okay, I see you. I'm trying to show my peeps all the characters. I'm trying to be a dick. Um, but definitely all these are, 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 are the same people that were a part of the the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. If Thanos can uh, get his ass over here. Sir, come over here. I'm trying to show the people all the cameos. Come on. Oh, god damn it. Alright. I'm gonna have to whoop his ass over there. Is Captain America gonna have to smack a bitch? Um, there is uh, Nova right there. That's Nova. And uh, that's Drax the Destroyer. So. Those are all the characters that make cameos in this in this game, in this stage alone. So that's always pretty cool. And like I said, all of them were in um, the Infinity Gauntlet uh, storyline in the comics. So that's always pretty cool. Uh, at the beginning of this, of this stage here, you might have noticed that I don't have any Infinity Gauntlets because this guy's being a jerk and he stole the ball. And now he's doing his uh, special on me, which is not nice. I think America's going to have to go ham on this guy. <laughs> Come on. Bitch. Oh god, please catch him. Damn it. Got him. Boosh. Uh, 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 uh. Give me all your infinity gems, sir. If I get him. Damn it. Oh. Okay, let's get power. I have the power. Bitch. Oh, damn it. One more. One more. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes. Oh. My shield came, came, came in time. Freaking sweet, man. Freaking America! That's what happens. That's what happens when you mess with America. And now we have uh, restored the universe to its rightful place, and uh, all is well with the universe. You know, until the next catastrophe happens to befall the Marvel universe, of course. I'm over here on my computer. There you see uh, Thor there with his little mask. I was never a fan of of this look. I'm, I must say. I don't know why, he just, uh, Thor just do doesn't look right with a mask. He, I don't think he should ever have a mask like that. 
I mean, that's just me. But again, I think that I think the storyline here was that he's not really Thor. And in fact, he, he when he turns back to his human form, he he's a completely different person. When for those of you who don't know, because they didn't really do this in the films, but um, originally Thor he used he used to have a uh, an alter ego called uh, Donald Blake. So that was sort of his uh, his human form, if if you want to call it that. And um, when this Thor went back to being his alter ego it's not donald blake it's somebody else completely different so that sort of kind of drives home that it's not the same thor uh, again i'm not very familiar with how how that works but you know it, it's 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 there <laughs> i guess if you want if you want to know a little bit of trivia there but anyway guys that's it for marvel superheroes we played as the awesome uh captain america mr america and uh, now we're going to move on to, as you guys can see there on the on the left side there, we're going to move on to Daytona USA, which is a classic um, Sega Saturn game. Let me, I'm just over here, over at my uh, video game library here. It sounds so official, like calling it video game library. It it is a pretty pretty neat, um, pretty sizable library. As I mentioned, as I have mentioned before, especially during my Roulette Sunday live streams, it is it is a pretty sizable collection here but because of that sometimes it's it's a little bit hard to find some of these games like I'm going through my Sega Saturn collection here and I'm having trouble finding Daytona USA I'll find it uh, here it is all right so we're gonna move on to Daytona USA I'm gonna let these credits finish for Marvel superheroes and then we can go on to uh, rolling start it's uh, everybody's favorite um, favorite little meme thing from this game I, I still don't know how that how that started I mean the the the, the song itself is uh, pretty catchy but I, ne I never in a million years would have thought that that would have became the, a meme so as you guys can see this was made by Capcom um, pretty awesome pretty awesome Capcom has made a lot of great games and of course this was in memory of Jack King Kirby which by the way now uh, I don't know if you guys are pay attention any of you pay attention much to what's going on in the news especially with uh, Marvel but um, apparently the family of Jack Kirby I'm just gonna put AAA because this thing my um, Saturn doesn't have the memory card inserted into it so it doesn't really matter apparently the the family the estate of mr. Jack Kirby is actually suing Marvel due to some um, because of unpaid wages or something like that that belong to Jack Kirby so essentially what they're saying is that they need to get all uh, they are they have to get um, how, do I, how do I explain they need to get paid for all the characters that Jack Kirby made which essentially is a, a, a good sizable chunk mind you and um, and now a lot of people are saying that if that happens, if Marvel has to start paying loyal royalties, like royalty checks, to the uh, to Jack Kirby's family, then that could have uh, huge uh, repercussions on the the world of Marvel, I guess, including the films and things like that. So that's never fun. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. And there we go. This is uh, Daytona USA, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never seen Daytona USA, you may have uh, seen the you may you may have seen the the memes that have come from this this game, the Rolling Start song, which we will definitely hear in a minute or so. But this actually brings me back. Yes, this this game definitely brings me back. This was a game that you actually, you know, if you had a Sega Saturn, the few people that did, let's be honest, it wasn't that successful. So the people, the few people that did get a uh, Sega Saturn, um, definitely had this game, and I, I, it, it, it's always in my, like I have good memories of this, especially like at the arcade, playing this game, and um, when I first got my Sega Saturn. This was obviously one of the games that I got with it, along with um, Nights into Dreams and Virtual Fighter 2 and uh, Virtual Cop. So this definitely has a lot of good memories for me. 
Now, mind you, this doesn't this um this uh so we're gonna we have different modes here: endurance, grand prix, normal. We're just gonna go with normal for now, and we're just gonna go with everything normal. And oh lord, let let's see if we can find it. Where is it? I know it's here. It is. I think I think it's this one. I don't think this is it. Hold up. No, I don't think this is. I can't remember which one it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. So. So this is um, the controls. Obviously, I, I need to. Um, I need I need to view this because I don't remember any of the. All right. So accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake. All right. I think I. I think I have it. Here we go. And uh, I never, I don't remember exactly what the difference is between arcade mode and Saturn mode. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody's gonna let me know in the comment sections at some point. But um, we're gonna go with Saturn mode, <laughs> just because I don't remember Please select a race. much. All right, so we have a beginner here. We're gonna do all of them. Don't worry. And we're gonna go with automatic transmissions because I'm a pansy. I get the feeling that this is a very loud game, so let me turn down the volume here just a little bit. Uh, uh. Uh, there we go. I don't think that did anything, but here we go. So this is uh, Daytona USA. Have we got? Every ah, oh lord, we are not. I mean, <laughs> this is not good. All right, we have screwed up already. It's not a good start. I was trying to see if there was a way to restart, but apparently not. So as you guys can see, this is a racing game, Daytona USA. Of course, that's the reason why um, we are playing this game, because it has USA in the title, of course. And uh, it, this is a very, you know, this was before Gran Turismo and um, Midnight Club and all the other modern racers, obviously. So you're not going to see a lot of very complicated, um, you know, things or anything like that. This is as basic as it can get. You know, you're basically, this is basically NASCAR, I guess. But back in the day, this looked amazing. You know, this was back during the time when 3D games was just starting out. And just looking all at these graphics, even as bad as they look now, I know they don't look as uh, presentable as they used to. Uh, but, uh, you know, back in the day, this was definitely one of the must-own games on the Sega Saturn. And uh, one of the things that made this stand out for some of you guys that maybe have been too young to remember or maybe you weren't even alive when this happened which makes me feel oh lord <laughs> which makes me feel all kinds of old is um one of the reasons why this um was such a big deal is because um you know back in, back in the day day there was you know there was two different camps or i guess three different camps of um video games I'm about to give you a uh, a uh, a history lesson here, ladies and gentlemen, young youngins. Um, oh God, almost close to the. All right. So back in the day, there were three different camps of uh, video games. You had the standard consoles, which you know included things like Super Nintendo, Genesis, the original Nintendo, and even Game Boy and Game Gear, if you want to count it. And you had so that was one you had PC gaming which you know back in the day wasn't all that great let's be honest so it's like uh, things like DOS going farther back Commodore those sort of things and uh, Mac even I'll even put that on there and uh, so this is our final lap we're not gonna do great we're at 27th position come on now <laughs> but this is just fun so and then you had the arcades so at the time when when that was going on, the arcade was really king. You know, there was really nothing better. Oh God, I'm spinning out. <laughs> there was really nothing better than arcades because the arcades had everything. You know, like the arcades had the best graphics. They had the my God, we suck. <laughs> they had the arc. You know, all the best graphics. They had all the up and coming series. You know, fighters side scrollers, beat em ups, uh, racing games like these. Uh, 
and put my initials. Like I said, it doesn't really matter because this, my Saturn doesn't have a, um, a a working memory card, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, and uh, you had um, so in the arcade was really the place to be, and um, because of that, because of how I guess. Um, advanced arcades were back in the day and they still are pretty advanced nowadays but because of that they really it was very very difficult to to have a perfect arcade transition let's go I know I'm gonna suck in this stage and uh, so you know whenever you had a game that was being ported over to something like the Sega uh, Genesis or the Super Nintendo or even the Nintendo you know early on it was always very, um, you know, you kind of knew that something was going to give, like something had to be taken out because there was no way that the home consoles or even the PCs could, could really emulate a lot of the stuff that, man, I suck. A lot of the stuff that was going on in the arcade because they just weren't powerful enough. So when the Sega Saturn came out and when this game came out in particular, that was a big deal. You know, this actually looked like how it was in the arcade. Uh, it, it's not perfect. But it was definitely a lot better than what we were used to getting. Oh my god, I suck. I, I never got good at this game, by the way. So this is why I'm sucking so hard. I uh, This car goes everywhere. Not to mention the pop-up is just horrible, so I, I, I can't really see when the, when the turns are coming. So that's, you know, some of you may be looking at this and saying, Oh my god, this is so boring. Like, you're just going around in circles and the pop-up is so bad. And yeah, it is bad and it's, it is very basic. But at the time, this was a huge deal, you know, this was, this was, as the kids will say now, this was the shit. You know, I, yeah, I'm down with the, with the current lingo. Oh god, ah, oh, oh, damn it. So, while this game may not look the best, it may not be the most interesting when you compare things like, uh, you know, Midnight Club or even like Gran Turismo. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And everybody and their mom just passed me. But, uh, you know, this thing still had its uh, its appeal, you know? Even nowadays, I think this thing still has its appeal. Like, this kind of harkens back to the, like, very arcadey um, racers that you don't really get to see much nowadays. Uh, a lot of the things nowadays, much like every, much like a lot of sports games nowadays, are very, like, simulation games. Which, uh you know basically means that they're they're a bit too they're doing I think in my opinion they're doing a bit too much than than they should you know like uh, sports games in general I think I, I I used to be able to get into them very very much oh see it's right here I always fuck it up right here um, sports games just do a bit too much for me I used to like things like NBA Jam and NFL Blitz and things like that and uh, I just can't get into the current crop, I guess, of uh, of sports games. Oh, I'm drifting. I'm learning how to drift. Oh, sh oh god, the pop-up is horrible. Shut up, sir. If you guys can't hear, the guy's saying, go easy on the car. Well, I'm trying to, sir, but the handling. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm spinning out. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. How many laps are in this thing? Oh, this is the last lap. Awesome. Now, one of the one of the things here that makes this game actually kind of unique, um, even nowadays, is that you actually have pit stops. And as you guys can probably tell right now, because of my god awful driving of this uh, of this course, god damn it! Like, how how am I supposed to make that turn? Like, I always crash there. As, as you guys can uh, notice, ooh, that guy spun out. As you guys um, may notice, there my my car is all kinds of crooked. So uh, one of the things that the that the pit stops do is that they fix your car so you have better handling after you know you've uh, you know if you've been crashing your car and stuff like that, and uh, it needs to be fixed. So that's a, that's kind of cool, though it's still sort of kind of annoying, you know, like you have to stop and like real racing, like real racing. Not that I would know. I'm not really a fan of racing. Um, holy hell, I think some people just lapped me. Jesus, I freaking suck at this game. But I, I will reiterate the fact. Freaking America, bitches. 
I may suck, but I'm sucking. Uh, it, it is my freedom to suck. I'm gonna be taken so like so wrong. All right. Let's show everybody how much we uh, we suck at this game. There we go. I love how the the guy s says individual letters when he says your name. It's so cool. I, I miss the arcade. All right, we got we got one more track, guys, and then we're gonna move on to uh, to the next to the next game here. Oh lord, this is expert. This is only two laps, but you can already you can probably already tell what that means. That means they're gonna be some of the most BS turns and and things like that of this entire game. Oh lord, <laughs> I'm so scared right now. And there we go. And we're off. Now, I, I mentioned here how awful the um, the the poppin is. You guys don't even know the the. The pop-up here is 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 kind of half the reason why I, I keep crashing. Oh god! Oh dear god! The music is really good though. It's such it's so 90s. It's awesome. My goal here is just to oh sweet mother of god! There we go. <laughs> this this course is such bullcrap. Come on, let's go. There it is. My goal here is to just finish at least one lap. I have very little confidence. I, I, I remember playing this when I was little. I don't think I've ever finished this, this course, to be quite honest with you guys. I think I always spun out or stuff like that happened where I hit the track. God damn it. There it is. Oh, God. This is the track from hell. Look at this. You got tight corners right there. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Seriously, what sadist did this? Um, a bit of trivia here. I know that I'm kind of late, but in the first track that we, that we saw, you could actually see Sonic the Hedgehog on the side of the mountain. That's one of the things that a lot of people remember about this game. I know it's so, like so small, but seriously, that's some of the thing. That's one of the things that a lot of people talk about when they when they say you know when they talk about this game. Because unfortunately, this game isn't. I mean, it's popular. It's okay, but uh, you know, it's a racing game, so not a lot of people remember much about it. Other than yeah, it's a racing game. <laughs> uh, but that is one of the things, you know. Oh my God! My turning. You guys see this, right? Good Lord! All right, if I can pass this guy. There it is. And that was still not lap one. Jesus Christ. There it is. Okay, now we're on to lap two. I think. Shut up, sir. Holy hell. We're not even done with the first lap. I'm so nervous to, like, make any kind of turn here. Just because I never know when the, when the, the turns are going to come up because of um, just because I like the the, the poppin there we go I think oh hell oh, I have no idea how I made that u-turn Jesus I'll be honest it was completely by accident oh no 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 there it is there it is there we go all right we're on to lap two good lord it took us two minutes to get that one lap and we are 28th um, you know what? At, 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 at least we're not dead last. And we're doing moderately okay. No! Of course, as soon as I say that, I crash. God damn it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Aw, oh, damn it. You douchebag. Alright, this turn right here is a bunch of... There it is. Oh, no! Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Freaking A, just because I didn't... Uh, I had to go right instead of left. Stupid Daytona USA and you're catching music. Damn you. I have no idea who that guy is. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a character or something like the way that they did with Sonic. Uh, I'm sure somebody knows. I don't. 
I'm usually the kind of guy that knows all these stuff too. Like I really love uh, like a bunch of trivia and stuff about games. That is not one of them. All right, we're gonna make a U-turn here. At least according to the sign. Of course, I fuck it up as soon as I start. There we go. And that douchebag passed us because he crashed into us. Oh god, there it is. No, no, there it is. Honestly, I'm just happy that we're still 29th. I know this is extremely sad for me to say that, but seriously, like, if I can keep on keeping on with the 29th place out of 30, that just means that we're at least not the most horrible uh, driver in this entire race. And I am completely okay with that. Here we go. Here we go. Oh god. No! We still have that one BS U-turn that we have to do though. That, that one's scaring me. The last time I did it, it was completely by accident. I'm not exactly sure if I can have the same kind of accident again. And that's what she said. Alright, I think it's coming up. Oh hell. We're taking so long that the- Oh, here we go. Oh god! There it is. We're ta we, we took so long playing this track that the, that the music had to re-loop. Oh lord. And there we go. <laughs> Good god. That was painful. That was utterly painful. You placed 29. I like how the guy says, <laughs> it says it 29th. Like, aw. You tried. <laughs> you tried. You really tried. It's okay. Alright, so we're gonna put our initials here for the third and final time of the evening. There we go. <laughs> Jesus, that, that was painful. That's one of the reasons why I never go back. To be honest, I was never good at the arcade either, so I don't know what I, w what I was expecting. But that was Daytona USA, guys. That was, um, that was painful. <laughs> but uh, now we are going to be moving on to a different console. We're going to be moving on to the PlayStation 3 for uh, Call of Duty. Uh, let me go ahead and send out this tweet, letting people know. By the way, if you haven't already done so, uh, you can go ahead, uh, as you guys can see there in the bottom left, you, uh, you can go ahead and go to my YouTube at Johnny Crimson 2000 and on my Twitter, Johnny Crimson 2K. That's uh, where I hang out. If you want to send me a tweet, that's be pretty uh, pretty cool. That would make my day if you want to go ahead and follow me. Uh, I always put stuff on there whenever I go online, um, especially live streams. That's where I. Um, that's where I uh, post things to let people know when I'm going online and things like that. So if you want to go ahead and uh, and uh, know when I'm going online, what kind of videos I'm doing, what reviews I'm doing, what Let's Plays I'm doing, go ahead and go on there. And of course, if you want to see everything that I've done before, then uh, go on to my YouTube account. And subscribe, please. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, set, set this thing up. So if you guys uh, hold on for right there while I'm uh, plugging in the PlayStation 3s. Thankfully, I already have most of the stuff um, ready to go, but uh, sometimes, you know, it takes a while to connect everything. Oh, Daytona USA. You make me cry. Alright, so we're going to say goodbye to uh, Daytona USA. You guys may hear something, don't worry. And we have PlayStation Tres. There it is. As you guys can see, that is my. Uh... Hold on, give me a minute. And there we go. That is my PlayStation Three gamer tag. I don't know what it, I don't really know what it's called. I don't know if it's referred to as gamer tag. And yes, I have a very girly looking um, background. Honestly, that's only because I haven't bothered switching it out. <laughs> that's really the only reason. I, I really do have to go ahead and. Uh, and um, and switch it out one of these days. My fr I, my have my, I have my friends come over all the time, and every time I we're playing the PlayStation 3, they always tell me the same thing. They were like, you know, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, change your background, man. You're not girly. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so, as you guys can see, we're gonna move on to the uh, PlayStation 3. We are going to go ahead and start playing. 55. 
Um, we are going to be playing Call of Duty 4. And uh, I think I need to go ahead and uh, turn this down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Alright, so you may have... Uh, you may have noticed that the volume went down. That's because this game is uh, very loud. <laughs> For some reason. So, here, here's the thing, guys. Before we get started here, before I go ahead and start playing this game for you guys, I'm not really a um, Call of Duty person. That is my confession for today. Although, if you've been... Um, if you've been watching my videos previously, if you've been watching my Let's Plays and my live streams especially, you would already know that. I'm not really a, uh, a Call of Duty person. I'm a Halo person. That's the game that I prefer to play. And, um, you know, it, it's really just a matter of preference, really. It, it's just I prefer the more sci-fi look of Halo. I prefer the, um, in my opinion, I just like the style of Halo better than the style of Call of Duty. That's not to say that the Call of, that Call of Duty isn't a good game. In fact, you know, I, I recognize that Call of Duty has a lot of fans, and, um, you know, I'm not going to take that away from anybody, but I, I, I just never been able to get really into uh, into Call of Duty. That's basically my, my whole thing. The reason I'm saying this is because um, this is the only game, only game, in the entire Call of Duty series that I have ever owned. And I know that that sounds insane to think about, but unfortunately, or I don't know if, if, uh, Good news first. if I should World say it unfortunately, Russia. because I really don't mind. But, you know, you know that, that, that's just the case here with me. You know, um, it, it's just, uh, I don't know. Like I, I've, I've never even beaten this game. That, that's how. That's how much. How little. How uninterested I guess in uh, purchasing all these games. I know some people that every time a new Call of Duty game comes out, they have to have it. They have to own the newest Call of Duty. They have to have all the the map packs. You know, they're on it day in and day out, and uh, all this and and, and that. You know here we go. Go to station one and aim your rifle down range. Station one, here we go. Now aim your rifle down range. How the hell do I? Oh, there it is. Shoot each target. Shut up. The sights. Oh. Reverse your controls for looking up and down. Lovely. No. Now shoot at the targets while firing from the hip. All right, so there now it is. Gonna block the targets with a sheet of plywood. I want you to shoot the targets oh. through the wood. Look, bullets will penetrate thin, weak materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. This is all weird. I'm gonna make the targets pop up one at a time. Playing this game, I feel like I've uh, betrayed can. Halo. As long as you're aiming near the target, you can snap onto them by repeatedly popping in and out of aiming down the sight. To reload your weapon, here we go. Oh, what the hell? Come on, I got that. Too slow, mate. Try again. What? I'm too slow. Wait, what? Pre uh, oh. There it is. Good job, mate. Now go get a sidearm from the armory. Where do I need to go? Like I said, guys, I I have never. I can tell you guys right now, I I have played this game. Good. Now switch to your rifle. How the hell do I switch? Okay. Now pull out your sidearm. Remember, switching to your pistol is What happens if I shoot this guy? <laughs> right, so come this way. Approach the watermelon. Where the hell's the watermelon? Switching to your pistol. Knife the watermelon. Ah. Uh, boosh. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Captain Price wants to see you. Alright, so, 
essentially we, we, we got all our all our uh, basics here what the hell oh, okay yeah like I said some of you may be looking at this and wondering um, you know how can I not how can I be so oblivious I guess to Call of Duty you know it being such a um, very uh, I guess high profile game and things like that but uh, re really though like I, I am not a Call of Duty person I, I'm looking all, at all this and stuff and I'm thinking to myself where the hell are my stickies <laughs> although I, I will say this where the hell's the ladder Wait, where, where's the ladder? Oh, there it is. I, I will say this. One of the things that I hate, I absolutely hate about the Call of Duty series, and I don't care if, um, you know, what anybody says. This is a dead... Pick up that MP5 and four flashbangs. On my go, I want you to rope down to the deck and rush to position one. After that, you will storm down the stairs to position two. Then hit position three and four. Follow uh, precise instructions at each position. Grab the rope when you're ready. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Oh, God. Go, go. Position two. Wait, wait, wait. Where the hell is position two? Hit the targets! Bitch. Let me reload this. Flashbang through the door! How the hell do I do? Oh. Ugh. Position four. You missed the target. Go back. What? Where's the? Oh. Position five. Go. Hit, Hit the target. They didn't say anything. Go back. Six. Go. Flashbang through the door. Uh, what the? F okay, I think go I. Back. You passed one of the targets. What? Where are the? T oh, okay. Hit the target. Final position. Go. Sprint to the finish. Ah! Too slow. Get your shite together, boy. You oh, god damn it. All right. Grab the rope when you're ready. Go, go, All go. this crap happening. Position two. Go. Uh. Hit the target. Shut up. Flashbang through the door. Where is it? Where is it? See, this is the part that I messed up on because they never said anything about people coming up and stuff. Oh, come on. Hit the target. Six, go. Ah, come Flash on. Through the door. Mm. Hit the Final position, go. There it is. The See, we're getting stuff. used to this. We're getting used to this. Or I'm getting used to this. If you want another go. No, I don't want to go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. Huh, 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 huh. Gentlemen, the cargo ship mission is a go. Get yourself sorted out. What are you guys looking at? Up at 0200. Dismissed. All right, um, for players who are new to the first person, no, there it is. I hate how the the automatic thing to go to is the recruit. What the hell are you trying to say? I suck? Man, I've been playing first person shooter since the days of GoldenEye, sir. Actually, Doom for the Super Nintendo. Talking about recruit. I'm not a recruit. I don't want to hear that shit. This is America. By the way, um, the reason why we're playing this as part of this uh, this live stream here, this this uh, late July 4th special is here, is it's kind of obvious, right? Americans love uh, a good gun battle. We love our action. We love our soldiers, our uh, men in uniform. We appreciate the services that they provide. And uh, I do remember, though, I haven't played this game much, as you guys can see. I've never actually beaten this. I started playing it, and I kind of gave up on it. Oops. Sorry. have a little bit of the hiccups here. But uh, that is what, this is one thing that I do remember about this game. Is, um... Okay, here we go. Is uh, this section here. I do remember this being very awesome. Especially at a certain point when the, the boat starts sinking and stuff like that. Oh. All right, here we go. Action time, baby. Murica. 
Somebody go in front of me. I don't want to get shot. I don't think I've shot a single person. Now you guys may be maybe seeing me like uh, reloading and stuff all the time. That's just that's just my way of uh, of uh, playing these type of games, these shooting games. I reload all the damn time. How the hell? Where are we supposed to go? I'm following this guy. I'm following you, sir. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so... Got you on the platform. I see him. Weapons free. Roger that. Jango down. Target neutralized. Alright, I haven't shot a single person. Can I, can I get some action? I mean, damn. I want to shoot somebody. Where's the company? I'm going to shoot somebody. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh damn! Hell yeah! So uh, you may be wondering why do I uh, reload all the time, and that's only because um, that's really just my experience playing Halo online, like all the time. It's just uh, it's so annoying when you're blasting a guy in the face and then halfway through you know you have to empty an entire clip just to get him to die you know that's just how Halo is I'm sure some of you may be wondering like oh you don't do that in Call of Duty um, but uh, in Halo that's what it is you know sometimes you have to pretty much waste an entire clip trying to kill somebody and the most annoying thing happens when you're trying to do that and you you have to reload you end up reloading your gun halfway through Halfway through, um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Dude, somebody got wasted. I don't know what the hell I'm aiming for. Are you gonna shoot, sir? There we go, I think we got him. Alright, uh, can I? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Somebody, somebody help me. Seriously, I don't know what, what, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Like, they're not dying. Oh, what the fu- Okay, I am- What the freak do I have to do? Jesus, like- Check your corners. By the way, one of the things that I never understood in Call of Duty especially is how um, is uh, how you recover your health. See, what, what the, oh, they're over here. See, with Halo, at least it makes sense, you know? They have armor on. Ooh, okay. With Call of Duty, it never made sense. Because it's like, how are they recovering their health? They're just, you know, more or less, they're just average human beings. They have nothing special about them other than, you know, they're, they're soldiers and stuff. But really, though, like, it, it, it never made sense to me. God damn it. Come on, go up. There it is. Alright. He's saying right side here. Oh, come on. There it is. I, I keep running into something. Like, it, it, it stops me from going forward. I think half the thing is because uh, the boat is kind of swaying back and forth. Okay, we gotta go this way, I think. I I'm just following this guy. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. As you guys can see, I'm very uh, trigger friendly or trigger happy with these sort of games. Because, uh, you know, Murka and stuff. Bitch. Alright, checkpoint. Man, there's so much waiting and stuff like that. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, you guys just gonna stand there? Alright, here we go. I need a... There it is. <laughs> I was about to say, like, I need a duck.
Oh god, okay. Let me duck over here. There it is. Took out those guys. Took out his knees. You know, because that's how we do. Freaking Murka up in here. Oh god, oh god. Need a duck. Come on, headshot. Damn it. Where the hell... Where the hell's my team? Like, everybody just kind of ditched me. Are you my team? Yeah, you are. See, that's, other, that's one of the other things that I never really got here. Ow. Ah! Ah! Must cover. Cover. There it is. Forgot. I'm not a, I'm not a Spartan. Damn it. Booyah. There we go. <laughs> we almost died there, but th that's all right. All right. Apparently, there's something in here. What, what, what the hell's in here? Can I kill this? Can I shoot this? Why is there a damn uh, Soviet Union flag in here? Fast movers, probably mixed. We better go. So grab the manifest in the container. Move. All right. We've. Uh, picked up this thing. I don't know what this thing is, but apparently we picked it up. Wait, what? Oh, okay. All right, everyone's topside. Double time. Oh, damn it. Freaking graphics. Warcraft, Griffin, what's your status? Run! Run, you fat bastard. Oh, God. Oh, it burns. Now, this is one thing that I will give uh, Call of Duty for, is that they are very, very... Um, cinematic in my opinion more so than uh, Halo I think well I think it's different though because most of the time in, in Call of Duty you see things from the first person perspective whereas um, in the Halo series you see things you know from the from a third person perspective because you're 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 looking at uh, Master Chief see this, this part I do remember this part is really cool Although, it's very disorienting because I just want to tilt my head sideways just to be able to see properly, even though it's actually the ship that's sideways. You know, we're, we're actually upright. It's the ship that's going sideways, which is still pretty damn awesome. I, I will concede to that. Just go up. Oh, God. Where the hell? Okay, I, I must have made a wrong turn here. Okay. Well, what the hell? Like, I lost them. I, it's not my damn fault. Alright, he said right. Now where? Okay, he's... There it is. Come on, go, damn you. Uh. Where is it? Seriously, where... Alright, I don't know where to go. They keep running, like, they keep running off. Like, I'm pressing the run button. He doesn't want to run. Alright, here we go. There it is. <laughs> Catch me. There it is. See, that was annoying. They kept running off. I don't know where the hell to go. Like, freaking... Come on, man. Like, I'm your comrade. You're supposed to, like, come towards me. Catch me, damn you. And now we get the the opening credits. So all that was just, like, the, the prologue, if you will. These games are getting very cinematic, I, I have to say. Uh, something came up on my damn computer here. No, I don't want to update my iTunes. I don't even use iTunes anymore. Or, I, I I have this, like, big iPod. Like, I have, like, an 80 gig, which is ridiculous. Um, but it actually lets me... 
because of that, I, I, I just kind of upload new music by chunks. So, like, at any given time, I, I, I'll upload new music to my iPod, like, maybe, like, 50 songs. It's, like, really ridiculous. And now we get to this... I do remember this. I think we can... Yeah, we can turn our heads. We, we're, we're a hostage here. I do remember this. Um, I didn't really get that far in this game. I keep telling myself that one day I do want to go back to this game and actually finish it. Because I've always told myself I'm going to finish at least one Call of Duty game. Even though this isn't exactly my type of game. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... Well, I'll, I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt here and, and, and say that maybe I just need to... Um, maybe I just need to give this series a chance. Maybe my first impressions of it weren't the best. Maybe they were skewed by the fact that I was, uh, you know, that I am such a big Halo fan, you know? But uh, by, by all means, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a uh, Halo fanboy and that everything Halo makes is, you know, God, and then everything that Call of Duty makes is uh, stupid. It's not that. It's, it's just the style. I, I would say the same thing about uh, Battlefield and... Um, Medal of Honor to an extent, although Medal of Honor I do like better even though I've, I haven't played the new one, though I heard that the new one was not that great. Um, but it, it's it's just realism is basically what I'm trying to say here. I would, I, I never, I don't like real, ultra realistic games, you know, because it's sort of like, at this point, it, this looks like a movie and I get that. They're going for a very cinematic experience, I guess. But if I wanted that, I would just watch a movie. You know, I, I don't need a, I don't need a interactive movie, you know, that cost me sixty dollars. I, I want something that I can have genuine fun. It can take me out of realism, I guess. And to me, that's what Halo does. Um, I know that some people, you know, obviously not everybody's like that. Like some people like Call of Duty. This is the type of game, and some people just like the multiplayer. But then again, you know, the, the gameplay itself never really interests me all that much. It's it's too realistic for my taste. The fact that you can die with a, just a couple of bullet shots, to me, is not that fun. Because that just means that you're dying constantly. Um, whereas in Halo, you know, you can really let loose with a gun and even like a, like a rocket launcher and, and things like that. And you can still have somebody that is not going down. But that just means that you get to play the game longer because... You know, you, you just have to work harder towards killing somebody. So, you know, that, that that's just me, though. You, you know, I, I know that that's maybe not the popular opinion, especially when it comes to Call of Duty series, because it does have a very rabid um, fan base. But I don't know. To this day, I still want to uh, one day complete a Call of Duty game. And since this is the only game in the entire series that I have, this may just be it, you know, I may one day beat Call of Duty 4, which I have heard is one of the better ones in the series. So maybe I made a good choice of getting this one. By the way, I got this one maybe two years ago, one or two years ago. So you can kind of tell um, just how late I am to the, the series, or rather I should say just how avoidant I've been of the series. To the point where I just, you know, I've waited so long just to get this game. But uh, even then, you know, this this sort of stuff right here is one of the reasons also why I can't get into the series. Like, we just spent the last three minutes watching a cutscene. I have not touched my controller, like, in the last three minutes because it's the opening credits. And I get it. They're trying to build a, a story or whatever. But you don't need all of this, you know? I, I'm, a, I'm a stern believer that... The gameplay should carry a game, not the other way around. It shouldn't be the story and the graphics, which, unfortunately, in my opinion, is what gaming is going towards. They're going towards becoming closer and closer to movies. You know, longer cutscenes, more Hollywood-type uh, production values and things like that. But at the same time, it's just, you know, you get stuff like this where... Okay, like we could have totally done that in the span of like a minute. Not, it didn't have to take like five minutes. 
Al-Assad just executed President Al-Falani on national television. The Americans have plans for Al-Assad, and it's too late to do anything for Al-Falani. Alright, so somebody just died. There. That, that, that's all you need to say. <laughs> let, let me just... Can I skip this? No, of course not. I'm pressing every button. It's not letting me skip. Um... Because I'm sure if you've already seen this game, if you've already played this game, which I'm sure a lot of people have, you don't want to see this. You don't want to see the cutscene, the same cutscene over and over again. Okay, there we go. Now it lets me skip. Finally. Alright guys, so I'm going to play this a little bit more and then we're going to move on to a different game. I know that's very quick, but again, a game like this that kind of relies more on the story you get more, it seems like you get more story than you actually get gameplay, especially towards the beginning. I know that that's not the case with everything, but... Weapons free. He's down. Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Oh, I wanted to kill him. Damn it. Although I am digging this, um... the setting here. I do love, like, the southern style, I guess. Hey, Captain Price, you want to go in there? Oh, you want to frag somebody? Alright. Oh, come on, just let me kill one. There we go. And we're trying to figure out how to climb through windows. You know, because they didn't teach me that in... whatever. The, the tutorial that we had. Is this a shopping cart? Yes, it is. By the way, why are we randomly killing people? I know, I know that it's probably something that they said at the uh, beginning, the objective thing that we just. All right, I got this. I got this. Can I kill that person? So, plant some claymores in front of the door, then get their attention. Uh, what the hell's a claymore? Seriously, I don't know. Pull RT to plant claymore. What is that? I, I don't know what that... I don't know what that does. What, what am I supposed to do? Hey. Bruh. Come over here. What... What am I supposed to do? Like... I got their attention. Come at me, bro. Like... There it is. Um, the only thing though is that... Alright, there, there, it's that thing right there. I don't know what that's gonna do. Is, is that bad? Should I not have... <laughs> should I not have put that there? Again, very vague. I don't, I don't know what they want from me. Sometimes I think this game is a little too ambitious for its own good. All right, here we go. Here we go. I haven't shot anybody. I'm, I'm very sad. Guys, you smell that? I farted. I'm sorry. Yeah, camera off. Oh, sorry. It's camera off. Oh. Welcome to the new Russia, Captain Price. Oh no! We've got an informant. It's the damn commies. Ones on the other side of the hill. The rockets have. Not in my live stream, sir. In the valley below. What happens if I shoot him? Not so fast. Oh. I thought, I thought, I thought he was actually coming towards me. Like, I, I, owe you one. I, I thought he might have gotten mad because I pointed my gun towards his face. Apparently not. Apparently not. See, it's too much talking, man. A game like Halo or GoldenEye, we would have been shooting people up already. It, it makes for a not so fun. Um, Experience here. What the hell? Eh, 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 eh. Sniper team in position. Gaz cover the left flank. So switch to your sniper rifle. Um. All units commence the attack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there it is. Okay, um, I don't know, I don't know where the, okay, 
Shut up, man. I'm trying to... Alright, here we go. There it is. I don't know how to zoom. Oh, god damn it. No, what are you... You dumb... I have no idea what I'm doing here. Clearly. All right. Enemy helicopters. You didn't say there'd be helicopters, Camaro. I didn't say there wouldn't be any either. Protect my men from those helicopter troops. This way. Make it quick, Camaro. I want that inform. You have nothing to worry. We'll take out the. I I took out one sniper, but I don't know who. <laughs> What the hell I'm doing? Like, I mean, clearly, I I don't know what I'm doing here. You can kind of tell just how much of a Call of Duty noob I am. I'm sure somebody's gonna say about it. Probably somebody's gonna like say something about my mom or something. I'm sure. I expect that. All right, press left to use grenade launcher. All right, now what am what, what am I supposed to do now? Um. Uh, kush. Ooh, I like that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, damn it. You were killed by a grenade. Watch out for the grenade danger indicator. Thanks, Captain Dumbass. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Gonna open up a can of whoop ass in somebody. Ow. Here we go. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, what the- Ugh! I don't care what Hoover said. Hoover's a dick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. No, what, 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 what? I'm just pressing buttons here. I don't know what I'm doing. And hoo ah, hoo ah. I don't know if I'm actually hitting anybody. Be honest with you guys. All right, let's see if we can. Yeah, I, I really don't know if I'm. Oh god! 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 All right. Okay, I don't know where the enemies are. First of all. I'm just gonna assume that they're over there. All right. Um, I can't see anybody, so I'm gonna assume here that I I I won. Oh god, there's like a bunch of them. Shit! 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 Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Oh god, get your ass in there. Um. No, what, what are you doing? No, no, what are you doing? Okay, um. I need to kill somebody. I don't know. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, if you guys didn't know before this stream just how much of a, uh, a, a Call of Duty noob I am, hopefully now you, you have a, a better idea. Like I said, I do not play Call of Duty at all, so all this crap right now that's going on, I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? I, I don't know. <laughs> have we won yet? Like, what the why are there still people? Come on, man. 
There, he's dead. Come on, let's go. Where the hell's my grenades? Like, oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. No, stop doing that. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Come on, pop out. There it is. God, that was needlessly long. There we go. Apparently there's a tank over there. I wonder if I can throw a grenade. Yup, there it is. Did I win? <laughs> I think that was my grenade. Like, it landed, like, hella late. Booyah. I'm so happy. I'm learning how to... I'm learning how to Call of Duty. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see. There we go. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. See, the, the thing says, um... Press and hold L1 to steady. Man, I've played way too much damn, um... Too much damn uh, online team sniper on uh, on Halo for for that to even be a factor. Oh yeah, see I can no scope these bitches, man. Are, th are those our men? Where? Okay, where where did everybody go? Oh, okay, you know it's nice to know that you guys told me that we were leaving, dicks. You're just gonna leave me behind, bastard. Okay, it says provide sniper support. I can do that. Okay, I don't know where they're shooting at. I don't know who the bit good guys are. I don't know who. Yeah. I like how they just don't even tell us when we have to go, you know? I'm over here providing cover fire for the other guys, and all of a sudden, fucking rope pops out of nowhere. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, come on. There it is. Alright. What are we doing? What are we doing? Who uh, what the- what the fuck? I don't know where the back. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Wh what are you doing? Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I, I like that, but I don't know how to use it, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm just gonna follow my peeps over here. Captain Price. Uh, freaking the guy from Mythbusters over here. Oh, you dick! Alright, come on. Come on, we're gonna finish this strong. I know there's somebody over there. Ah! 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 Somebody come- Ah! Somebody did not cover me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Booyah. Who wants some of this? Booyah! Oh! What the f- Okay, there's somebody over there. 
Come on, come on, show your head. Come on. Oh, come on. I just want to kill you. Okay, there's that guy. There it is. I don't know why, but the, the sniper in this game just doesn't have the same oomph as uh, the sniper in uh, Halo. I know I know I keep making these Halo comparisons. You guys have to understand, I come from Halo. I played Halo from the very beginning, from the very first Halo. So it's sort of uh, ingrained in me, I guess. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay, there it is. I apologize. I apologize. That was my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. You guys aren't getting me this time, damn it. Alright. Are we good? Are we good? Everybody alright? Alright. Freaking Team Murko over here. Let's go. Where's everybody going? Where's everybody going? Oh, what the f what the hell? Bitch. Oh, what the f Somebody shooting up from behind. Who who's alive? Uh, what? Ah! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on, man? Uh, there's like so much crap going on. Okay, I do remember this, um... I do remember this part where you go inside, inside the house. I, I do know this much. I do know this much. Okay, apparently he's going around the back. Alright, the power's out. Gonna get our, our night vision on. Hell yeah. Okay. Bitch. Wait, wait, all right. I'm gonna let you go first, sir. I'm gonna let you go first. You obviously know what you're doing. I don't. Okay, you do your little hand wavy thing. Oh. Boosh. Gonna kill this dude. Gonna kill this dude. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna see what we get. Boosh. Got him. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the newbie here, the newbie. Sorry, sorry. Alright, what, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Why are you guys just standing there? What? I don't... What, what do you want? Information, please. I, 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 I don't know what... Ah! Oh, you dicks! You guys just make me... Freaking... Oh, you bitches, man. You saw that, right? They made me go in there just to get shot. You guys are dicks. Alright, who, who's this guy? Can I shoot him? Oh, he, he's, he's, he's our homie. Alright. Thank you for getting me out of here. Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We have the package. Alright, so, um... This actually reminds me of the, uh... That uh, Rainbow Six trailer from E3 of this year. That's pretty cool. All right, I think we're I think we're done with this mission. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say um, gonna say my condol my not condolences. What the hell am I talking about? So we're going to go ahead and uh, move on right now to the next game on our list. You guys can see there on on the list there to your left of the screen. Uh, the next game that we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and move on to the GameCube because we are going to play, or I'm going to play, and you guys are going to watch uh, me play, WrestleMania 18. And